In this lesson, you'll learn how to set up employee capabilities. Setting up your capabilities will ensure that your services are only booked in with employees who are capable of performing them. It's important to set up your capabilities for online booking so that your clients can only book appointments with employees that are capable of performing their desired service. To set up capabilities, click on the Setup menu and click on the Capabilities icon. You can see that I've already got a capability category set up for massages. In this example, I'm going to create two new categories, one for standard waxing and one just for Brazilian waxes. This is because most of my employees are capable of doing standard waxing, but only two of my employees are capable of doing Brazilian waxing. I'll start with the standard waxing category. To create a new capability category, click New and type in the name of your new category. I'm going to add all the standard waxing services to this category. To do this, I'll click Service. All of our available service categories are on the left hand side. The right hand side will show the services we've added to this capability category and the buttons in the middle of the screen are used to move the services between the left and right sides. You can select an entire service category and add it to your capability category if it applies, but in my case I'll need to expand the waxing category by clicking on the plus sign and I'm only going to select the standard waxing services using the grey tiles. And then I'll click Add. You'll notice that all the standard waxing services have moved to the right hand side of the screen, but Brazilian wax is still on the left hand side. Click Done to continue. A prompt will appear reminding us that we need to tell Shortcuts which employees can perform these services. We'll do that now, so click Done and click on Employee. All of my employees except Becky are capable of doing standard waxing, so I'm going to click the Add All button. I'll then select Becky and click Remove. Then I'll click Done to continue. We have now completed the standard waxing capability category, so now I'm going to set up the Brazilian waxing category by clicking New. And I'm going to type in Brazilian waxing. Then I'm going to repeat the same process as before by clicking on Service. And I'll click the plus sign to expand the waxing category. I'll select Brazilian wax and click Add and then click Done. And we'll get the same prompt as before, so click Done. And I'll click on Employee. Erin and Steph are the only ones capable of performing this service, so I'll use the grey tiles to select both of them. And click Add. And then click Done. Now that we've finished setting up our waxing capabilities, click Done. Now I'll show you how these capabilities will affect the appointment booking process. I'll go to the appointment book and click on Becky's column. I'm going to try and book in a client for a standard waxing service. Let's go for a full leg wax. You can see that there's a red cross next to Becky's name. And up the top here it says Becky is not capable of performing this service, so I'll need to choose another employee who is capable of doing waxing. So I'll select Henry instead. And click Done. Now I'll show you what happens if I try to drag this appointment back into Becky's column. You can see that her column has turned a dark colour, which indicates that this appointment shouldn't go here because she isn't capable. But I can still drop the appointment into Becky's column if I want to, and you'll notice that the appointment has turned a beige colour. This indicates that the employee is incapable of performing this service. 
Now that you know how to set up capabilities, you can use this feature to ensure that your services can only be booked with the appropriate employees. Thank you.